Hi, my name is Tara. I'm Dave. And we're the Thirsty, Thirsty Thrifters. Thrifters. Cheers. Cheers. And we make videos about selling on Poshmark, what sold, hauls, stuff like that, and thrifting. And we have wine in every We're video. still drinking the double century Shiraz. <laughs> From our last video. From our last video. We're going to do a whole video on this new um, wine subscription service we just started. This is the first one. But for now, we'll just leave a link where we got it if you want to go check it out. And I forget to say, or I have several times, my closet name is Tara Stutes. If you want to look there at what I have for sale. And Dave puts it on the screen for me. This is our What Sold video from January 15th through January 28th. The two weeks that I just talked about in a previous video where I was experimenting with ways to increase Poshmark sales. The first week was creating a bundle for each item and sending an offer that way. And then I went back to normal. So watch that other video if you want more details. But that's what these are from. I ended up selling 70 items over it's these two take weeks. Forever. We will go quickly. We will try to go quickly. <laughs> we go through... Uh, when I listed it approximately, how much it sold for, how much I might have paid if I'd buy it again. We forget to say a lot of those things as we go, but we, we'll try. Dave will get to read the titles of the things, maybe. It's good wine. <laughs> so we're going to screen share here so we can show you the details of all of these tabs. Get it loop. But, okay. Get it? Got it. All right. So we're starting with January 15th here. This is it here. This is the, you got to read it. Athleta Twister Bikini Top Purple Fuchsia Swim. This was listed Boom. at the end of December. Got it at a thrift store for $2, I think. I had two of these in different colors. One was from a thrift store for $2. The other was from the bins. But it sold very fast. For $17, I will buy all Athleta swimwear that's in good shape. It sells the best of any Athleta out there. Close it. Close it. Boom. Read White it. House Black Market Sleeveless Cable Sweater. This was sold really fast. I think within 15 minutes or something like that. Uh, I didn't get it inventoried. It sold so fast. It was from the outlet, so it probably cost a dollar. And yes, I will buy new tag. Can you click the pictures and no. show the new tag? Nope. Where is it? Right there. That's the new tag. So those are newer items. Those are the ones I will buy from White House Black Market, unless it's a jacket or coat, something like that. Boom. Read it. Chubbies, men's shorts, navy blue. Flag lining. I didn't get to see when I listed them because Dave clicked too fast. These were from the Mega Mega Rummage Sale. I had thought I heard of this brand of shorts. They're men's short shorts. And so I grabbed them. They were $2. And I listed them. I, I think it was January is when I started with like swimmer and shorts. And they sold pretty quickly for 20 bucks. I would buy them again, yes, for... Good enough cost. Two dollars was a good cost. It seems like I've seen chubbies on Facebook <laughs> uh, advertising. I don't know. Seems like. This was listed in October. I'm saying Athleta, that now. OC Zazen Black 2-in-1 Skirted Leggings. That's the style name. I don't know what it Zazen. means. Zazen. That's not really a great stock photo skirted it's the best one i could find skirted leggings do really well this was a full price sale for 30 dollars. it did take like two months two and a half months to sell but they paid full price so i've sold many skirted leggings at this point they're popular i wear some myself they hide your i don't wear them. belly pretty well that's why i like them i love my belly okay these did not get uh, inventory. They sold too fast. I had a backlog of inventory. You'll see. Hold on. Wait. Nike Legacy Workout Leggings. Running tights. Oh, they got Nike on or the leg. Or don't wait. 
I had a backlog because I had Not so many items listed and no room to put them. So it wasn't a matter of laziness getting them inventoried. I just had nowhere to put them. So these were probably listed for a week. And I think it had them listed for 30 and I took a $20 offer. I buy newer Nike leggings and so far they've done really well. I haven't had a ton, but they do really well if they're newer and nice. You didn't. Fabletics, black lima? Capri workout leggings, crops. I do not remember when I listed these. Maybe I have it on there. I think we got these at the outlet and they sold really fast. They were a size large, which is a good size for Fabletics. Uh, I can't remember if these had the tag. That's even better if they have the tag, but they do have a good size chart on the website. So I do buy Fabletics. Yeah, they, it did have the tag. Fabletics letting Fabletics Whoa. leggings in good condition. They won't sell for a ton, $20, $15, but if you're getting them at the outlet, it's a good deal. This was listed at the end of October. Billy Pulitzer white Hillary cardigan sweater. I know we got that at the outlet, so it cost under a dollar, and it was a full price sale. I've had two of these, like almost exactly the same Lily Pulitzer cardigan, and they, I b thought they were both children's, but they're, they're adults. They're an adult XL. Uh, but yeah, I'll buy those again. <laughs> they both sold pretty well. Columbia Women's Magenta Pink Fleece Pullover. One or the other, Tara. It was listed in September. I don't know about Columbia. I think this is, yeah, this Ten is bucks. one my mom, my oh, mom sure. bought it. I said, I don't know if it'll sell. She's like, let's give it a try. I'm like, great, more to list. Um, and I got four stars on it for, they didn't tell me why. Great. Um, so be picky with your Columbia. Sometimes it's not going to sell for much. Moral of that story. It, it even was an extra large. I mean, it wasn't even a small size. New with tags, um, G, handkerchief, all the fun, midi, dress. Oh, I took this picture. I love how he says the words differently that he doesn't understand. Yeah. He puts a question mark at the end. You can you can see the question mark. In I can see the carpet in that picture, too. Good job. You're welcome. I I think I took this picture, actually. No, I took them. Okay. I found two of these at the Muncie, Indiana, Goodwill, half-off day. Muncie's awesome. Same size, Bought them both, new with tags. They had several more uh, new with tags, MG tops, but I didn't want to buy everything. I just picked these. And the first one sold almost right away. The second one's still for sale. Um, couldn't believe I couldn't find a stock photo for it, <laughs> but it's still sold. The picture's not too bad. Thank you. I took it. Oh, Lululemon, <laughs> cool. Racerback deep purple tank top. This was my own. I wore it a few times like underneath something because it's really long. But it's that plain cool racerback style. Still had the tag so I knew what size it was. Mm. And I just decided I wasn't wearing it anymore. And it sold I think within a day for $15. Wow. I'm sure I paid $4 for it originally too. So I got some wear out of it and sold it. The Lululemon tank tops are not going to sell for much or very quickly. Uh, just keep that in mind. Next. Ah, uh, this is a good one. High dive, mod cloth, shark print bikini bathing suit. Shark print, shark week. <laughs> shark week means something different for women. Oh. And that not a thing you want to combine with bathing suits. Whoops. Sometimes. Um... This I purchased at the Richmond, Indiana Goodwill last fall. We were camping. We were on our way camping, I remember. Or was it Shark Month? For no, it's Shark Week on TV. Okay. And I knew it was cute. I, then I figured out it was for Mod Cloth. And I listed it just this month, um, trying to find people going on vacation. And look, it still has 37 likes. It had so, so many likes. I had some low offers that I didn't accept, but I got a $30 offer. Everybody Love sharks. It's cute. It's unusual. Sharky. So yes, I'd buy that again. I remember this one. This one was listed in mid-November. 
I paid a dollar for it at 99 cent day. Blue Eeyore Winnie the Pooh quarter zip fleece. Eeyore. It may have been half off day, actually, which would be $2. This is what you get your depressed friend. It was... I almost kept it, because I am... Boo. I am Eeyore, basically, and I like blue. Boo. <laughs> I think Eeyore. I had it listed for 20 and got a $15 offer, so I took it. I'll explore Winnie the Pooh and Disney stuff if it's cheap enough. Not Eeyore's, all of it sells. Eeyore's like Oscar the Grouch. He's just always down. He was also my favorite. He's a downer. I loved Oscar. Oh, I liked Oscar, but Eeyore was just kind of like a whiny little... He didn't. Never mind. Oh, my gosh. Here we go. Taste prejudice against donkeys. <laughs> That's all right. Aloe. Aloe yoga tea bag gray green. I put all the keywords in the workout title. t shirt T. That's redundant. I've heard aloe leggings do much better than shirts. T shirt T? If they search for T, I want to have it okay. find it. If they okay. search for T shirt, I want to have it find it. All right. I'm talking Google search. I know it will search everything in. If you're in Poshmark. So this was from the Mega Rummage Sale. Paid $2 for it. Mega. I actually only had it listed for 15 I think I got an offer for $4 from somebody. That was fun. But I then, hope we find another Mega Rummage Sale. That I know. was... But then I bought... Uh, I got a $10 crazy. offer and I took it. And I just got a new offer on something else. Oh, Lord. Offer to like her. No. Like her to offer. Nope. <laughs> This was listed in December. Torrid medium wash bootcut jeans mid rise. I think they were at the outlet. Pretty sure these were at the outlet. And it was a full price uh, purchase. So that was good. I have. I think my reading voice is Steve Buscemi. Okay. I have medium luck with Torrid jeans. I think some of them I've sold lower than expected. I can't find stock photos of Tora jeans, even with the style number. It baffles me. Uh, but I still sold them for full price, so this was good. This was good. <laughs> sold in like a less than Made a month. well flannel ex-boyfriend button back shirt. Dave found this at the outlet. Oh, I did, didn't I? It was really... Soft flannel. It was cute style. Had it listed for 30 and I think I got this offer within a day and took it. It was right next to another Madewell shirt. Once I find one, I got to find another one. Sometimes. I found six right together last Ooh, time. Oh, that's nice. They were just t-shirts, though. So that's what I call a vein of Madewell. <laughs> that's weird. It's like a vein of ore. I think I got Lands these. Lands in bundle. Yeah. Sorry. Tankini swimsuit. Tops black. I found these at the outlet. Oh, two and tops. They were both the same size and similar styles. So I put them together and listed them in January. Finding vacationers again. They sold really fast for $17. I think within a week. So, you know, cheap enough. I'm going to give it a try. She likes it cheap, y'all. <laughs> this is at the outlet. I do remember that. Cloud Veil, Aqua Blue Windbreaker Hooded Jacket. This was listed in mid December, so it took about a month. And I it just this. looked really nice. It, was, um, it felt really nice, too. Yeah, like very clean. It was on a hanger, and I never heard of it, but it seems similar to Marmot kind of stuff, North Face. You know, it's that kind of uh, company. Uh, but it wasn't. Worth a whole lot. I think I had it listed for 25 and she offered me 23 So, yeah, I'll take that. Super. Might be a brand to watch for. Oh, it's a bundle. Oh, no. Is this my when I started my bundle sale? Okay, let's preface this. I was getting overwhelmed by the amount of stuff I had. So, I started a sale of anything in my closet that was $25 or less. They could bundle three and offer me 30 And I did send a... A message to everyone that had liked an item that was priced 25 or below. I started a bundle for them and sent them a personalized message so they knew it was happening. And so I did sell nine, is that right? Seven. Seven bundles, which is 21 items. So this is the first one. Gotta love the bundles. You don't Here have to go. click on each one. Okay, if you don't can want. we just talk about them? We the free burnout you, team. When I say I, we, can you just talk about them? 
We, go ahead and you tell me about them. You tell me. Tell me where you got them. Tell me. <laughs> we the Free Burnout V-neck tee might have been at the Benz or might have been that rummage sale. I do not remember. I love the tee t-shirts. And then there was a, uh, I really like this. Show them. I think I got it at the outlet, but first gangster rap. Oh, Tara, you went too far. So most of the shirts say, but first coffee, but I thought that was cute. But first gangster rap. I almost kept it. It's just too big. Tara doesn't listen to gangster rap. I do not. Cloth and stone printed chambray tinsel skirt. I know I got that at the outlet. Had a cute little print on it. So those three for $30. I probably spent, you know, $3 at the most for all those. And I would buy them all again. So let's go to the next one. I think it's another bundle. Yep, there's oh, another can't one. Handle the bundles. Ooh, the can. cool. Were those from the Mega Sale? I think they were because they're listed in in uh, October. So the cool shirt was at the outlet, and I saw the little logo on the back, which I don't know if I have a picture of. Like a, isn't it like a mountain? Yeah. I saw that little tag, and I knew it was cool, so I got that. At the outlet, probably cost fifty cents. We got these at a rummage sale, I think, it or was the next, outlet it for was two dollars. It was a rummage sale next to the mega rummage sale in a neighborhood nearby. Yes, yeah, so I remember those. Paid about two dollars for those, and this Prana long sleeve top. I might have paid full price or half price for. I do not remember, but all three of those they purchased for thirty dollars, and we earned twenty four. I would buy all those again. Definitely. Oh, this is my mom's jacket. So this was another three for 30. And these items I was glad to see go, actually. This was something my mom wanted me to sell. <laughs> it was it was actually suede leather, but it was stained. Not horribly stained. Just you can see like a little bit of discoloration. And I had had it listed for a while. And then this was a $1 coat that I had bought in my coat experiment to see what would sell. And it was, I think it was like a wool blend coat. I'm not sure. And then the last thing was this Hogwarts sweatshirt. <laughs> I think I got that at the outlet, I think. And it was not, I had something spelled wrong in the title for like three months. And I just realized it, and then it sold after I figured that out. Not three months. It wasn't listed that long. But uh, I was glad to see all those go. $24 profit. I would probably not buy a single one of those again. I'm like, Hogwarts t-shirts, I always have this memory in my head. I was at Walmart, and this really, like, you ever watch or see, like, people at Walmart, like, really weird-looking people? No, never. Like this old haggard lady was wearing a Hogwarts shirt, and I was thinking, that must be her nickname. <laughs> That's nice. You want to read any of these? Ah, uh, sure. Okay. Athleta Heathered Gray Wide Leg Lounge Pants. Hey, guys, which of those words did Dave not quite understand? Heathered. <laughs> <laughs> because I thought it was supposed to be weathered. No, it's heathered. It's a, it's a, like t-shirts are heathered. That was at a uh, ninety-nine cent day at my local Goodwill, and I wanted them to fit me, and they didn't. <laughs> but they were so soft. I remember the first time I got heathered. Dave, keep going. <laughs> Royal Robins gray cargo discovery hiking skirt. I know I got that at half off day somewhere, and. I think it was the same place I got that bikini from uh, Richmond, I think it was. And it was $2. It had no size tag in it, so I had to measure it. And I had pulled it out for hiking season. <laughs> like it was with all the athletic wear in January. And then the last thing. Athleta Contender 2-in-1 Skirted Workout Leggings. There we go. Skirted. Sold again. Those had been listed not long. But all three sold for thirty dollars, twenty four in profit. You keep getting interruptions. I got a message from somebody. Berkey's Birkenstocks, Birkenstock. yay! Black rhinestone sandals. I got that at my local Goodwill. I don't remember if they charged me flip flop price or shoe price. 
And I got them home and realized there were sequins missing. You can see right there. Oh. But it's okay. I The most I would have paid is $5, and they sold pretty fast for 19 So I'll always buy Birkenstocks. My mom got these to sell. Fabletics mid-rise printed power hold workout crop. She actually did text me Whoa. beforehand and asked me if Fabletics was good. And I told her how much they'd sell for, and she bought them. I don't know how much she paid. They were size medium. They were wild. They are wild. But they sold for $15 after not very long. I mean, I just listed all the athletic gear in January. So it was like two weeks, three weeks. The Beatles. That was from the outlet, and it was just an Old Navy shirt, actually. But it's... Uh, yeah, I was glad to see it go. I have like it's the three Beatles, Beatles t-shirts I got that day. There was another couple, but they were two. Little warm. Mermaid. Little Mermaid slub knit shirt. And then a slub knit. It's a type of t-shirt material. Dave doesn't know things. It's okay. Slub knit. Oh, okay. Do you want to pause? Turn or I'll just. Yeah. Okay, I'll call him back later. Talk to you later. <laughs> Junk food, mama bear, stripe graphic tee. Don't remember where I got that. Subtle stripe. Come on now. Don't be it's skipping like words. Very, you have to look close to see the stripes. But junk, Subtle. Junk food is something I am not going to buy unless it's a sweatshirt because I've had a couple junk food items and the first one never sold and the second one sold for not much. And it was listed for three months. So junk food's kind of saturated. Here's another. This person coordinated their... Workout gear. All They're these, wearing that stuff together. All these were listed in late Oops. December. Fabletics T uh, teal tank top. That was mine. I it just didn't fit me right. And then Fabletics capris that my mom bought and a Task T A S C racerback tank. I got that at the outlet. It just felt really nice, and I wanted to look it up later. It cost not much at all. I. I'd probably buy the leggings again, maybe not the others. Here's another bundle. bundle. Victoria's Secret green satin nightgown. This was my mom's. She buys a lot of vintage Victoria's Secret stuff or gold label Victoria's Secret stuff. It was just the night shirt. And Dave's just wanted to look at it a lot. Yeah, I did. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. Brown wide leg cotton pants. I think I got those in Muncie, Indiana for $2 or so. Size 8, and Max Edition Wide Leg Palazzo Pants that my mom also gave me. That's not a brand I usually buy, but I'm sure she made a little bit of profit. All three of those for $30. Way to go. Keen's Shoes, listed in December. Trying to remember where I got them. Hmm. Do you remember where I got them? I think these were at my local Goodwill. I kind of remember that now. And I think I paid 5 bucks. Still made a profit. Probably made like what, 10 bucks? 12, something like that. I don't know. Cool. I buy most Keens if they're not ripped to shreds. Yeah, they sell. You read this, I'm going to send a text real quick. Marilyn Monroe pajama <laughs> set pink black floral. I don't think I gave you enough time. No, you didn't. Let okay. me read it again. <laughs> Go ahead, Terry. This was my mom's, and this is the second Marilyn Monroe item that I've sold for her. These are, <clears throat> they sell at like TJ Maxx, because I've seen them a lot, and I don't know why. They've both sold, no problem, pretty fast. So don't pay much for them, but uh, they seem to be things that will sell. Athleta. Athleta straight, straight up, up pants, pants, charcoal gray workout. These were sm size small. That was the downside of them. And they, they were are tiny. They were a little old, so I couldn't find a stock photo. Another downside, but they still sold for $15. Athleta, certain styles of pants do really well. The newer kind, just, you know, look them up. I've had several that are that sell, sell for full price and like $40. So it just depends. But Athleta pants, I'm wearing Athleta pants right now. People like them. Me too. Torrid gray, gauze, lace, inset, cami, tank top gray. Add seven more words. I can't. I use all the characters. 
This was from the outlet, and I set it aside to sell when it got warmer, but somebody bought it in January, so... 13 bucks. That's not much. It was only listed for 20 I mean, oh, okay. brand new, they're 40 and they go on sale for a lot. And it weighed probably... Nothing. Literally <laughs> nothing. <laughs> it weighed like four ounces or something. So. Zero ounces. It sold really fast, too. Sometimes Torrid sells fast. Cost dot... COS, is that what, I mean? If you know, tell me. Is it cause or COS? I mean, cause all dot cow, out, print. Dot print. It was a dot print, kind of. Why don't you just read it since I can't show I just, all caps makes me think it's initials, but I don't know. I'm or never, it could be cause. Okay. This is apparently a, a nice brand. Um, not super popular, but it, it's expensive stuff. So I found it at my Goodwill for, I think, a dollar. All right. It didn't take too long to sell. So I'd probably buy it again if it was cheap enough. Look, I don't want to look at this. All right. Bionic. You're not reading anything. No, because you're Tied silver gray sequin flip-flop sandals. These remind me of my favorite sandals from Crocs. They look almost identical, but mine don't have that orthotic thing. (laughs) But I found these at my local Goodwill, and I think I paid $2 for them and put them away until warmer weather season, I and they see sold why almost right away. a couple people thought that you might have a southern accent. I don't why? have that. I, I don't have that orthopedic. <laughs> what would you say? Orthotic. I don't have that orthotic thing. Yeah, somebody said I sound like I'm southern, but Dave and I were born in the same town and have lived in the same town. And people in our town say wash. Not everybody. Sanook, pink chevron print slip-on loafers shoes. We got those at the outlet. And I'm pretty sure they were brand new. And I had them listed, I think, for 20 and took a $16 offer. They sold pretty quickly. The old woven soles. I like those. They If you can get them cheap enough, Sanook will sell. Like, don't spend much because probably 15 20 is your max. We're oh, selling this- a lot of shoes, aren't we? Well, we have a lot of shoes (laughs) to sell, so. Vans. This made me angry. Why? Why are you angry? Calm down. Vans, sneakers, medium gray, ortholite insoles. So these were from our thread up box, so we paid about $4 for them. I had them listed for $30. This woman, I think, sent me a low offer, and I countered, and she countered back, I think. I finally... I was like, okay, I'll give her a deal. I only paid $4 for them. She rated me three stars for cleanliness, and these are some of the cleanest shoes that we have sold. Haters. Like, they have two scuffs. They have nothing on the insole. Well, it's not like you didn't take pictures. So, I I just don't understand. See the scuff? Yeah. I mean, I showed every, and it says light scuffs in the description. Light scuffs, but overall in very good condition. I would agree. And they were. They were, they were very clean for Vans. That's like one day of wear by a teenager. Tara, some people are just stupid. I'm sorry. I just, I don't understand. Benares, I'm not sure if that's how you say it, but we got Bicycle. this at the mega rummage sale. Oh, yeah. I love bikes. I thought it was really cute, and then oh. I started to take pictures, and it had like a stain on it, like almost like a watermark kind of stain oh, man. it Where? wasn't a color it was just like darker so i washed it and I, it came out it must have she loved it perfect and i i just thought it was cute i got i got two ten dollar offers on this shirt which was listed for 30 yeah and then i got a 24 dollar offer guess which one i took yeah i wonder this we got at the bins like last week toward embellished red gray sequin heart Sweater, And I said, I should get this listed for Valentine's Day. And I did, and somebody bought it within a day. Boom. I knew it. Nailed it. <clears throat> Vintage Carmen Western Pearl Snap Blue Red Shirt. <laughs> I bought this for myself. I was going to, like, tie it in the <clears throat> front and wear it. And it was, like, just a little too tight in my arms. Because I do 100 push-ups a day. She's buff. I'm just kidding. But I I do have thick arms. Not, like, muscular, but they're not wimpy. 
Anyway, I put it on Poshmark. Tears not wimpy. I this was my low final offer, you know, before I relist because I had it listed for thirty five dollars and and actually the offer expired and then she offered me the equivalent of it like thirty minutes later. She's like, money. she's not a wimp. I'm gonna have to give her the full amount. <laughs> right. But I thought it was very cool. I, and the I thought guy, it was very cool, the too. The guy that's been a guest judge on, on Shark Tank has been wearing pretty much the exact same shirts, and he's like a bazillionaire. I'd buy them again. Oh, man. This was my favorite sale of the week. This is a good one. This, this came in our thread up box, if you were watching. And this was one where we were going head we to head. We didn't know what they and were. And Dave picked this one, and I had something else. And I said, I think I win, because I didn't know this brand. Yeah, the, the metal emblem... On the side, should have given it away. When you put metal on your shoes, you're probably cool. So keep an eye out for this brand, Philippe Model. Yeah. And I had them listed for 150. I had a couple low offers, I think. And this person offered me 75, and we countered back and forth, and and finally at 100, I was like, yeah, let's let's do that. And I got my five star rating. They're accepted. Hunt it. That was my favorite thing of the week. Hunnett Dallas. And Grateful, Grateful Dead. Dead. I think I got this at the outlet, too. 20 and bucks. It took, good call. Look how dark that picture is. It took quite a while. Yeah, it was listed since September. But I got a $20 <clears throat> offer and then took that right away. It was nearly going in the rummage sale pile. Because I am not doing my 5 for 15 closet anymore. The secret closet's the gone. Secret, it's still there. I'm, I'm on the not so secret mode, closet. but I am not really going <clears> to <throat> do that anymore. Victoria's Secret red silk lace trim chemise chemise slip. My mom bought this to sell. Like I said, she likes to get Victoria's Secret stuff, and it actually sold pretty quickly. And it it, it was literally silk, weighs nothing. Well, I don't know how much she paid for it. She doesn't go to the outlet. I can tell it's very light. It is. <clears throat> oh, this was from the Mega Rummage sale. White House, black market, chevron, sweater, cover-up. I thought this was going to sell way faster than it did. Because it was new tag, White House, black market, and I thought it was cute. And it took three months to sell for $20. So I I guess I'd still buy it again. Yeah, you'd buy it. Gosh. I'm getting She'd pickier. I'm getting pickier. <clears throat> These She's were not. in a thread up box. 100%. Toms. Those are like the first Toms we got, right? In the thread up box. What? The first thread up box. I know, but aren't those the first Toms we ever got? Yeah, I've never purchased them to resell. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Sorry, I didn't I didn't grasp what you were saying. Toms. They were in really good shape and but they took a little while to sell, but I had a lot of interest in them and the ones I just listed that are plain black have had a lot of likers, two low offers, and a new offer I haven't checked out. That's the thing I just got an offer on. Uh-oh. So I think if you can find Tom's really cheap and really good shape, they might be like a bread and butter kind of thing. Not Tom's. big dollars, but good sellers. For it, another <clears throat> good seller. I'm trying to think where I got this. I think it was at the outlet. Yeah. So it didn't weigh much because it was like a crochet lightweight Sweater. Oh, so, yeah. It looks like a doily. And then this was a full price sale. So, Twenty bones. Yeah. I'm buying every newer Torrid item, 2015 or after, it's not, you know, worn down by life. And if you don't sell it, you can use it as a doily. <laughs> Who uses <clears throat> doilies? Everybody. <laughs> Nike black swim skirt bikini bottoms bathing suit. I know we got this at the outlet, and I thought it was like running skirt or tennis skirt, but then it turned out to be a bathing suit. But it's a swimming, still, that's it's a, a swimming skirt. It's a it was a great sale, sixteen dollars for as little as I paid for it. We're getting there to the end here. We are. I need to stop talking so much. Taking forever. Coco ship. Coco ship anchor print pinup style swimsuit. Blue. This was at probably my local Goodwill. Our Goodwill's price uh, one piece bathing suits at $1.99. So Anchors. I look at them quite a bit because 
that's a good price for the price you sell them for. And this one was a cute style. That's why I got it. And nice. it sold pretty quickly. It's the first full bathing suit I've sold. I sold a bottom and a top. Yep. Oh, wait. I did sell that uh, shark bikini. Yeah. Shark. St. John. Shark week. My bad. <laughs> <clears throat> St. John collection. Santana knit blazer jacket. I believe it sold in one day. This was at the bins. The day Whoa. that we went and I didn't want to leave. $57. My plan was to buy as little as possible. And then I bought the most I've bought in months. Which still wasn't a ton. But uh, yeah, I got this and listed it. And I had it for 75 And she liked it. I sent her an offer. She countered me in and I took it right away. I'm All not right. I'm not greedy. I want to sell my stuff. Torrid. Torrid. You that's, just read it. That's a theme. I was just, just read saying it. the brand. Nope, you're done. Torrid Crop Twill Military Pant Olive Green. That's too fast. <laughs> These were listed a little while. What size are those? 16. I know I got them at the outlet. Yeah, they were listed a little while, but... 18 bucks. 18 bucks for an outlet. Fine. Back flap pockets. Yep. Says it right there. All right. I loved this top. Wish it fit me. We the free black. What a babe ruched top. So look at the gigantic. Ruching. Sleeves on them. Gigantic like poet sleeves. Yeah, and it was ruched down the front. It was just a little short and tight and the. Are those poet sleeves? I think that's what they're called. You need sleeves like that to write a bell, good haiku? Bell, poet. <laughs> There's so many names for sleeves, and I... I, I... I would call those wizard sleeves. Okay, let's put that in and see who searches for it. Yeah. Uh, but I don't know how much it sold for because Dave clicked out of it. Clicked out. It was listed <laughs> a little while, but I knew it'd sell. Trying to go fast, like you said. Eileen Fisher, linen, blue... Dolman sleeve blouse. I do not remember where I bought this. Is no it Dolman sleeve? Clue. Dolman. I think it's Dolman. Dolman sleeve. And it was listed for several months. And now look, scroll down. Pictures weren't that great. Thanks. Sorry. It was listed in October. So it was I, listed for three months and sold for $20. Not, I don't get a ton for Eileen Fisher, but it's consistent. $20 sellers. bucks is all right. It is. Oh, bundle. This, this was the miracle of miracles, guys. This is a miracle? Is it a Christmas miracle? No, it's oh. after Christmas miracle. It's an after Christmas miracle? So this is a Sundance shirt. Sundance, great brand. End of story. I don't remember how long that was listed. End of story. <laughs> I thought you were going on about Sundance. It was listed in January. Great brand. Then this was my mom's. And I, yeah, I did give her that money. New with tags. New with tags, um, G. Very cute sweater. This had been listed for longer. <clears throat> Here's why it's a miracle. This lady purchased one item full price. Then one hour later, she purchased the other item for full, pr full price. <laughs> for, for, for full price. <coughs> My throat's dry. For, for, Give five. me some more wine. So I felt bad. She paid shipping plus full price. And I sent her a message, and I said, I see you bought both items. If you give me a couple minutes, I can do my magic and put them in a bundle and let you know the bundle's ready, and you can buy it again and pay shipping once. I was fully convinced she would be like, oh, it was a mistake, or can you give me a discount because I bought two, which I would have. But she said, yes, do that. And I sent her a message, and she bought them still at full price. So I saved her some money. I still got the exact amount I would have gotten before. That That's a miracle. Usually when people buy things from you separately, they're not, they don't know what's going on. And if they realize they can get a discount, they do. Not trying to take advantage. They should get a discount if they want it. Intimately free people. <laughs> 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 Cream lace bralette. We're at the end of the race, folks. <laughs> Intimately free. I do not remember why I have this. I might have bought it for myself. I might have bought it at the outlet. I do not remember. You do like the bralettes. 
If you get them at the outlet, they're very lightweight. So, so yeah, get those. They almost literally weigh nothing. Okay. Stop saying literally. You're <laughs> literally annoying me. We're literally almost done. Okay. That's literally the best news. Literally just read this. <laughs> Your job. You read. Literally. Patagonia. Literally. Black. Nylon. Literally outdoor ski. <laughs> hiking. Literally pants. I got these at my local Goodwill. I just saw Patagonia <clears throat> and. Oh, these were literally tiny. I, yeah, they were extra small. But they were like the nylon kind of material that's the outside of a coat. Uh, and then I got them home, and I thought, oh, they might not sell. Looking up the comps, and it was a full-price sale Patagonia. pretty fast. Always sells. I have other Patagonia things that are not selling. Always sells. This was literally my coat. always sells. This was literally my coat. This was literally her coat. It's worth wool, blend, tweed, trench coat, button-up. This is what I wore all last winter. I needed a coat. I found this worth. Tweed? I hate tweed. I hate tweed. But I wore it for months. Literally. It was it. just it was big on me. My mom had to replace all the buttons for me. <laughs> um it was listed for forty dollars for a long time and I sent my lowest offer and somebody took it and so I paid five dollars and I got my money's worth out of it and I made a profit. Literally. Great day in my book. Two more guys, two more. Literally two. Vintage spring red floral pleated maxi skirt. This was my mom's again. Your mom. Alfred Dunner, our favorite brand. Alfred Dunner? <laughs> no. Do not buy Alfred Dunner. We don't do that. I can go to my thrift store and find literally a hundred Alfred Dunner. If you say literally, there's so okay. much Alfred Dunner. My mom Dunner. wanted to buy all the pleated skirts, so she bought this. I was very happy it sold. Oh, the... Oh, the funny thing was, I want to go back. I want to see if I have a... Go back where? Right there. I want to see if I have my money yet. No pending acceptance. So at like 5 p.m. one night, the lady purchased this. I, Yeah, it was an offer to Likers. You can see the shipping discount. And at maybe 10 a.m. the next morning, she said, Do you have tracking info? I haven't received it yet. I haven't received the skirt yet. Not, I haven't received tracking info. I haven't received the skirt. You, she bought it the night before. The night before. <laughs> so I said, and I said, you just purchased this last night. So it's not in the, it's not out yet. <laughs> I said, you, wow. I think I said, you literally can't have received it yet. <laughs> anyway. I literally would have said the same thing. She apparently has received it, but she's taking her time to accept it. She's not gonna pay. I was not. Oh yeah, yeah. You have to like rate your item or accept it, or in three days you get your money. But she was very anxious to get the skirt, but she's not very anxious to say she got the skirt. Last thing. Last thing. And it's the Aldo brown leather studded platform sandals. I don't think I chose these to be on my team. To be honest. I don't remember. They were in that first thread up box oh. though. And Aldo's not usually one of my f favorite. I listed, I put all the sandals away and listed them like after I did the workout wear and after I did the swimwear. So it was sandals next. So they haven't been listed very long. I was very happy they sold. They look tiny. They're size eight. That's my size. Tiny little They're not feet. tiny. They're just heels. So, you know, you see the curve. I see the curve. It shortens your foot because it takes your foot and it goes like this. How's it go? Okay. Go out of the screen share. You don't tell me. I'm that. so tired of this. Infinite loop. And we're back. We are back. Those are over the 70 items I sold in the two weeks. I'm trying to see if I have a black eye. Because in the last video, it looked like I have a black eye, but I don't. Wasn't um, me. I don't. I didn't run into anything. I usually she do. She didn't did run not. into a knuckle sandwich, I promise. So I would say those two weeks were good. I don't know how much we sold because um, I have only eye. calculated our money after Poshmark fees. And nobody tells you, here's after all the fees. They give you the bigger, you know, 
amount. I know that before Poshmark, these were nearly a thousand dollars in that two week period. Five before? Did I say before? Before fees were at a thousand. After fees, after the twenty okay. percent, and after the um, offer to like or discounts, we're at. Let me do this in my head. Is that a three? Five nine. Nine ninety five, nine hundred ninety five dollars even. That is nearly a thousand dollars. That is very nearly. Is good literally job, near. Kara. So, that was a good, good two weeks. Good video, good wine. We have really enjoyed the good day, mate. Wine. <laughs> it's Australian wine. Oh, that's <clears throat> true. It's Australian wine. I, I never know where the things Gosh. come from. She thinks I'm. Like she, she literally thinks I'm dumb, <laughs> and like I think things through. If you uh, want to rewatch our video and tell us how many times we said literally, we'll give you a prize. Mm, we literally are not going to give you a prize. You're just adding literallys. I don't know. Literally. Okay, thanks. Know. Thanks for watching. And um, literally, what else thank do we have you. to say? Um, Leave us a comment about your favorite sale or your least favorite sale or your customers that left you three stars for no reason anything yeah. tell us your stories we like to hear stories we like to talk with our commenters as long as they're not insulting to us i like to talk to those people too yeah he likes to try to fight with those people i do not <laughs> knuckle sandwich me if you want <laughs> <laughs> I like sandwiches. That's true. So thank you again for watching. Thanks. Thanks. Cheers. Good night. Ooh, boom.